What's going down, people? TK coming at you. Nice to wealth builders. Hashtag social media. <clears throat> and, um, you know, I've been working to elevate to the point where studying becomes um, a practical application, right? Because a lot of people read and a lot of people uh, surface information, but they don't digest it and then get to the point where they can apply the information that they've read. Right, So we keep going over these principles about the way the system actually works. And step two would be to actually call out the system for what it is in relation to the lie that people basically are subjugated and uh, taken advantage of based on not knowing the reality, right? So we want to call out the system on paper and then use that as a blueprint for interacting with the system, right? And that's where I'm working <clears throat> mentally to build that foundation, okay? Because you don't want to continuously be uh, subjugated uh, and then be forced to participate in human trafficking, and peonage because essentially that's what takes place within the demonocracy, right? You wonder why you don't get ahead. You wonder why you're standing still. You're not having any progress. You're forced into this rat race of ineffectiveness. And, you know, the first thing that you have to realize is that the, the um, rights of indigenous people says that you can't be forced into organization. You can't be forced to uh, participate. So you want to stand on your square and build to the point where your information can be used in a practical application so that your life is no longer raped by the system. And th that's what I'm working on mentally as I gather and learn this information okay so the, the first concept is calling them out on paper based on the reality of how things take place or how things really operate you know um starting with the foundation of the democracy go back in history and, and identify uh 1861 when the constitutional republic ceased to exist because of the fact that Congress adjourned Sina Day or Sina Dia and then build because you want to call it out on paper Eight, from 1861 uh, to 1871 when the act of 1871 created the demonocracy and based on 18, the act of 1871, we call out and understand that there's a de facto, non de jure, private service corporation that's acting as government. Therefore, to force me into private commercial paper, which technically is a debt instrument issued or issuing a blank check on a closed account. Therefore, paying isn't paying. Paying is actually discharging or bookkeeping. So if legal money is gold, silver, and arguably Bitcoin based on the principles of gold, then I'm never paying for anything. I'm always uh, putting myself into further debt by using a debt instrument so I shouldn't be forced into debt by private commercial paper that does bookkeeping you guys understand where I'm going and, and, and to, to create this foundation on paper as a template to interact with bills right because that's what subjugates you you are trapped into peonage by using private commercial paper due to bills. And then you find yourself subjugated 
and pressured when you don't have the ability to access their commercial paper in order to discharge what? Your bills. So if you express this to them from the onset and you opt out of peonage through bills, then you free yourself from their system, right? And that's what we're trying to grow to. That's what we're trying to elevate to. So the purpose of studying is to build a foundation based on the reality of how things actually exist and then express that to them on paper, right? And then free yourself from the the, um, peonage that goes along with the discharging of bills, okay? So you want to opt out by demanding and standing on your square based on the Constitution, based on the uh, rights of indigenous people, and based on the Treaty of Peace and Friendship. So, this is what we want to grow to. We want to grow to the point, because, you know, everybody gets to the point where they master the information, and everybody gets to the point where now, oh, I'm writing books. I don't want to do that shit. What I want to do is free myself. And then, by example, free other people. So that practical application gets you out of being a slave to bills. Because that's the primary problem within the democracy, is that people are subjugated. And victimized by what? Limited access and engineered scarcity. So we want to free you from those two methodologies of subjugation. The colonial operations within the North Gate essentially create human trafficking and peonage. And we want to give you practical applications in which you can free yourself from colonial operations. So the idea is not to write a book. The idea is to create a process in which you can call them out for their bullshit based on the reality of the operations based on the Unum Sanctum policies within the North Gate. So you want to stand on your square so that you can accurately point out what they don't want other people to know, find out, or even come into the realization of. So your print, your blueprint that you want to issue to these bill issuers or these uh, uh, overseers is essentially to accurately describe the Unum Sanctum policy and the Uh, colonial operations so that they say, whoa, player, back up with that paperwork. Back up with that affidavit. Back up with that writ. Because you just might wake up too many people. So that's what we want to do. Fuck a book. What I want to do is give you practical applications in which can free your life from the demonocracy. Practical applications in which you call them out for what they are, who they are, and how they operate. And then you say, basically, I don't want to be subjugated and I refuse to support this uh, subjugation, peonage, and human trafficking. Because we understand that it's a dissolved, uh, a, dis- a dissolved government, right? And we understand that it's a private service corporation, not a country. It's a it's a private corporation. So how can fucking Walmart continue to subjugate me and and charge me bills and demand control over my life? Because that's what's taking place. The U.S. service corporation incorporated that was initiated from France 1792 is what we have in place right and the four subsidiaries therefore so realizing that Walmart can't subjugate me and continue to demand control over my life I have to call them out Walmart is what's in place It's just that the name is the United States Service Corporation Incorporated. And then you can also stand on the vicar's words 
because all service corporations belong to who? The Circle Church of Rome. And the Circle Church of Rome is headed by the Pope, the Pet, the uh, 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 Peta, or Peter, right? So you can stand on the words of the Pope from his letter to President Obama, July 4th, uh, 2014, and the civil orders issued to all service corporations, right? You can stand on that as maximums to say that your operating license has been revoked. Therefore, how can you continue to subjugate me through bills? Your operating license by the vicar has been revoked. <coughs> and we're supposed to return to what? The original foundations of the republic. So you are not wrong for standing on your square and demanding constitutional republic or constitutional law underneath the republic. So this is where we want to go. This is where we need to elevate to. And this is what I'm calling all man <coughs> to elevate to. And when I say man, I'm referring to Moorish American nationals. 